Morning lovely souls, it's Tim Wild, happy Friday. It's a Friday Ascension update. And uh, today is Friday the 13th, and I've seen a, a lot of kind of like semi-amusing memes shared on Facebook about Friday the 13th, 2020, what could be better. But traditionally, as with many things that, that have been kind of altered and changed over the year, Friday the 13th is a sacred date. It's a very high frequency date, a little bit like some of our numbers and some of our symbols. Say, take, for example, the the symbol of the swastika, which was um, misused during the Second World War, which dates back to kind of um, Hindu times and even so far back as Atlantis as a symbol of the light. So let's take today, let's inject some very high frequencies into it wherever you are, whatever you are doing. Now, I just want to talk a little bit about the kind of, the, the, the rolling out of the energies and uh, it's, it's a perfect day for it today. It's beautiful and stormy here in Southern England. And uh, I've, I do love this time of year. It's um, especially with, with the intense Scorpio vibrations that are coming in. And we've just got, we've just come out the other side of the, the 1111 manifestation portal, which, that was a powerful day and we also um we also ran a, a powerful event in the evening we did we did some magical manifestation but hey why wait for a why wait for a portal of opportunity we the the the, the trick at the moment is to be manifesting with every single opportunity that we have presented to us um I want to recover a subject a little bit this morning it, with slightly different circumstances, the, 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 the scenarios that we're presenting with are now kind of rolling forward very quickly and they are expanding and the effect that these scenarios are designed to have seems to be working on a lot of people. And the end result is kind of fear, outrage, and I'm, I'm talking particularly, I'm, I'm not ever going to use the, the trigger words that the algorithms pick up on. But here in the UK, we're pre being presented with the kind of the magical medical intervention of the century, which is being rolled out at kind of breakneck speed. And of course, there's the the... The only way to describe it is the kind of the restrictions or the allowances that are coming with it, you know, sort of being allowed back into society and, and all of the things that have been predicted and we've been talking about or a lot of people have been wor very worried about over the course of the year and obviously on, on a physical living in this space kind of level we 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 are share, we are sharing this we are watching this we are, we are part of the, the 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 society where this is all being rolled out in but again the way that this turns out depends precisely on how we apply our vibration to it how we respond to it how we either allow it or deny it access into our reality so the message that i kind of woke up with this morning and kind of resonating around in in my conscious is <clears throat> hold your lines okay it reminds me a little bit of the I don't just, it's very much a boys movie but the gladiator movie where they're kind of they're all sat there in the in the um, in in the order in the in the gladiators area waiting for the gates to open and Russell Crowe says whatever comes out of those gates you hold your lines you know you stay in formation that is very applicable for us at the moment we are being continuously presented with and bombarded with um, invitations to the fear party come you know get afraid get angry get outraged you know, throw your vibration into the lion's pit and allow them to feed. And again, you know, it's maybe on, on some levels, maybe, you know, a lot of people are feeling the right to the outrage, the fear and the anger. But don't allow it to take hold. Feel it, observe it, be with it, see where the triggers are coming from, return back to centre. Hold your lines, hold your lines of light, keep your vibration high. There is absolutely nothing that can be presented to us that will become part of our reality unless we give it permission. Do not engage, okay? 
So that, you know, it's, it's a message that I've been giving out kind of repeatedly over the course of the year. Here comes the rain. Oh, beautiful. Uh, over the course of the year is the, the, the it's, this is such an unusual year. You know, I, I said in my workshop the other night when we rolled into January 2020, none of us had any idea or clue what was coming. We'd been told repeatedly to expect fireworks, to expect change, to expect movement, to get the results of what we've been co-creating with one another. And sure enough, we're coming towards the end of the year now, change is upon us, but the ball is very much in our court. Now, if you're listening to this or you're watching this and you're feeling scared about your future, if you're feeling like you have not got the power and the power is in, say, the hands of the, the, the kind of the negative authorities, take it back, okay? Bring it back into your heart centre, raise your vibration. Collectively, there are billions of us on this planet, literally billions of souls. Billions, of, you know, like I'd say a, a, a good high percentage of those souls are now awake, okay? They might not have quite identified with the fact that they're fully awake, but they are awake. They are starting to realise the bigger picture. The veil from the third eye has been removed. OK, so the, the, there is no choice but to see now. And it's just simply a matter of time. And, a, and the way that information is distinctly presented that will, will create the speed of that wake up. So everything is happening at, at a very, very high rate here. I live in the UK. The UK is kind of, it's almost like Australia in the United States. It's very much kind of like a ground zero for the rolling out of what, what we see the 3D fear party, okay? Withdraw, same message again, withdraw your attention to anything that creates fear within your bodies and your fields, alarm, be aware of what's going on, stay educated, stay informed, but do not give it your energy, okay? The second you've given it your energy, it goes into a field that has been very well kind of nourished and attended to over the years, and it responds immediately. But what we also have is a very high frequency field of light, peace, love, unity, and a solid intention about where we are going with this ascension process. So use Friday the 13th today to stay in your highest frequency possible. It was it used to be celebrated as one of the most sacred dates in the calendar simply because of the way the numerology works with it. And of course, over the years it was used, oh, it's, it's, it's a negative date. It's a date where bad luck befalls upon you and it's not, it's quite the opposite. Anyway. Usually I'd go on for a little bit longer than I do this morning, but I am getting very, very wet sat out here. So I'm going to cut the video short, send you all lots of love. And if there's any more updates over the course of the weekend or, or before Monday, I'll let you know. Bye for now.